if I must identify the most developed country in West Africa, then it will be. Have you ever traveled around West Africa? Which country will you say is the most developed? Please leave a comment and let us know. In this video, I want to discuss which country is the most developed in West Africa. There are 15 members of the Economic Community of West African States (ECOWAS). The question is, which of these countries are the most developed? To know the most developed countries in West Africa, we first need to understand what it means for a country to be classified as developed. It is actually disappointing that the majority of West African countries are still classified as developing, not developed. We still have a long way to go to be called developed, but at least we are not living on trees and in caves as some people have been brainwashed to believe. Let me extract a text from United Nations Development Agenda Statement for us to be able to understand what they mean by development. Please do stay with me. Just before we look at what development means from United Nations point of view, my own basic understanding of development isn't about high-rise buildings and massive highways. For me, development simply has to do with the ability of a community or a society to provide basic human needs and also to be able to solve societal problems. I am referring to basic things like sewage, waste, address systems, roads, medical care, leisure facilities, etc. Back to United Nations. According to United Nations, development is a multidimensional undertaking to achieve a higher quality of life for all people. Please note the last part, high quality of life for all people. People. That is really very important. Please hold that thought for a minute as we go further. The United Nations statement also put emphasis on sustainable growth, which was further explained in the following statement. Please do stay with me. Through such growth, we should be broadly based so as to benefit all people. Countries will be able to improve the standard of living of their people. Note the word standard of living again. So, and through the eradication of poverty, hunger, disease, and illiteracy, the provision of adequate shelters and secure employment for all, and the preservation of the integrity of the environment. Seriously, the integrity of the environment is something that makes me laugh because all the mineral resources that have been extracted from Africa, I don't think all these countries care about the environment. Let's leave this aside because that isn't the main focus of the discussion. Let me pick up on literacy as this might actually relate to development. I think this is one of the major differences between the so-called developed countries and the underdeveloped or developing countries. Take a look at the literacy rate in West Africa. Here you can see the countries that lead in literacy rate and the ones not doing so well. Another factor to look at is the unemployment rate which has a link with poverty. And when we dissect this further, literacy has a significant impact on the development of a the literacy rate average for West Africa is a lot lower than the European Union, for example. This might be one of the factors responsible for the development classification difference in Africa compared to other parts of the world. Please stay with me as I go to talk about the physical development. Another factor I must mention is human capital development, which I will touch on later on in this video but let's look at physical development when i'm talking about physical development i'm talking about infrastructures in terms of like roads healthcare, transportation methods like you know rail airport and even quality of housing it's really very difficult to be able to identify any country in west africa in terms of like physical development i mean to be able to say this particular country is the one doing better than all the rest in terms of physical development but something that is really very common is this in most west african countries once you are out of the major cities like the capital of the countries you begin to see massive underdevelopment in terms of basic amenities like quality road and housing and maybe perhaps this is all about africa not just west africa really some of the countries with large economy like nigeria ghana and Ivory coast have 
more bigger cities than the other smaller countries in West Africa. This means their big cities do a bit better in terms of infrastructure and physical development. So for example, in Nigeria, you have cities like, you know, Abuja, you have Lagos. Oh, Abuja is a very interesting one too, which is a city that was well planned and built from scratch. And then you have Lagos, you have Kano, Potako, Enugu, Ibadan. And in Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, you have, you know, their capital city, Accra, you know, you have Yamasokro, Abidjan, Kumasi, Lome, Freetown, you know, and a whole lot of um, capital uh, cities in West Africa. So basically what I'm saying here is that, you know, the infrastructure in smaller towns and villages outside the major cities in West Africa is very mediocre and unexceptional. When we compare West Africa countries to Europe, there is striking difference. For example, I live outside London in the UK and I've been to a lot of rural areas or countryside as they call them in the UK. Most places have all the basic amenities that you can see in major cities and any amenity that isn't available will usually be within commutable distance to reach. In fact, in some rural areas or countryside as they call them, these are the places where wealthy people usually live or they have some house in uh, London or in the major town or city and then they usually have what they call country home which is usually kind of like um, expensive uh, property. As promised, let me touch on human capital development which is a very important metric. Human capital development is vital to the growth and productivity of a nation. It is a report usually prepared by the World Bank. The index measures which countries are best in mobilizing the economic and professional potential of a citizen. The index measures how much capital each country loses through lack of education and health. When you think about it, these two factors, education and health, are very important in productivity. If a country cannot look after the education and health of its citizen, you can almost guarantee that the nation will struggle to develop. Why it might be difficult to draw a conclusion about which country is the most developed in West Africa, I think most people who have traveled around West Africa do say the likes of Nigeria, Ghana, and Ivory Coast, you know, that these countries with big economy, you know, like Syria alone as well um, and some other few ones so people do say that yeah so these are possibly the most developed in West Africa this does not mean that these countries mentioned have all the required infrastructure to be called developed in summary in West Africa and perhaps in Africa we need to focus on solving all the basic problems around us like sewage you know waste management food security quality housing and so on so again going back to my own definition of development it's not just only all about you know high-rise building and you know posh properties if i must identify the most developed country in west africa then it will be cape Verde. let me tell you the reason why cape Verde is the most developed country in west africa Cape Verde has the highest GDP per capita of all West African countries and ranked highest in the Women Development Index. The country is an island and is the least populated country in West Africa, but the country is doing well in a lot of areas. The country has a stable economy and is one of the most democratic countries in the West African region and also has one of the best infrastructures in West Africa region. So have you traveled around west africa which country will you say is the most developed leave a comment and let us know and if you have watched up to this stage i will recommend my video that you can watch next and this is the one about the proposed common currency for west africa 